testing the video, testing the video, audio, blah, 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 blah. Where the fuck is the microphone on this thing? Hello? Aloha, amigos. I hope you're doing super awesome. It's Leah Rose, obviously. If you have been keeping up with, like, my Facebook and everything like that, you know that I am kind of returning to my roots um, a little bit more, which is mostly in writing. So uh, my blog is being updated a lot more often uh, than I am posting up videos. You can check out the link down below. Um, I honestly find it much easier to express myself in writing. As of right now, um, I just prefer writing and blogging. So now for the real purpose of this video, look what I got for Christmas. <laughs> it's really creepy. I should not do that. This is the Twilight Princess Zelda statue from the First for Figures line, and I've been drooling over this thing since the concept was first released. I've loved the First for Figures line. This is my first, like, not my first big kid statue, because obviously I have the Keani statue and the She figure. Oh, uh, well, the only statue that I have left is the Rogue one that just released. Three out of four. Ain't too shabby. Of course there's like a stupid expensive Princess Mononoke one, but I'm just going for the $70 one on Amazon. <laughs> None of that craziness. I haven't had the cojones to pull this out of the box yet, so I figured that we could do that together. Yeah, so hopefully you can see alright. I really need a better setup for filming if I'm going to be doing this at all. Oh god, it's one of these. Oh god. That was difficult. There's like, she's in the foam. Oh! There's a... I think that's my certificate of authenticity, that's pretty cool. Sorry, it's making the horrible styrofoam squeaky noise and all those like tripping balls over there. See, this is why I have to edit a ton is because... Pause for effect and all that. Oh! So, to register your officially linked product and obtain full benefit, please go to our website, uh, go to the authenticate section where you can enter your product number, which is found on the underside of the base. The authenticity code can be found on the reverse side of this card. So, that's pretty cool. Let's actually open this up. My apologies if I cry. I'm gonna tie my hair up. And that's another thing why videos, like, I enjoy making them. But again, I need someone to edit it for me. I need better equipment. I need a real big cup of coffee. But that's kind of the norm for me, so, you know. <laughs> hey, Malo, get down. I was trying to say hello to you guys. Malo, you do not go in the box. No, 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 no. Malo, <laughs> he looks like Godzilla. Now all the taping is done, so. I don't know which side is the front side. I'm gonna go for the one that had the card attached. That was the correct side. Oh my god. But, oh my god, this is insane. Here, I'll try to... Ugh, this base is actually really gorgeous and impressive by itself. What the hell? Um, so, I have number 2065 of... 2750. So that shows you that. And here is her sword, which is pretty heavy. Holy crap. But there's. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Ever. Oh! Apparently the hilt actually just pops right off. I'm just gonna put that back. Okay. I'm already in love. Like her paint is so detailed and. Her tabard is actually fabric, and yep, I'm looking up her skirt. What you gonna do about it? She's got like boots and. She smells funny, but can't blame her. Oh my god. So this is a one sixth figure, I believe. Oh my god. Like, this is just painfully phenomenal. I'll tell you what, though, like figures like this make it so much easier to do accurate costumes. Her armor, if you can tell, her armor is gold and kind of outlined in silver, which that's not accurate as far as I know, but I mean, it adds a really nice level of detail. 
I'm already seeing parts of the armor that I did wrong if this is anything to be because like she has these little like you can kind of tell right here she has little like side pauldron like shelf things I don't know you know what I mean the painting is a little sloppy on her belt I just feel like with a statue this expensive you expect like flawlessness right but I mean this is pretty damn close to flawless oh man um they've got the little Hylian runes going on um I really like how they did the shading on the skirt too, like every little thing has a little bit of shading to it so it doesn't look so like single dimension. He was trying to eat the styrofoam. In case you can't tell by the speck on his head. Go away. Go away. Her earrings are perfect, her face is perfect. Her shading on her face seems a little harsh, like you can tell that she has like the it's natural, but like the shading right here, but I feel like they could have done a better gradient and it looks very like you can see the brush stroke, but it's, she's still perfect and beautiful and is giving you some mad side eye right now. Her boots are exactly accurate. The, this is actually really interesting. If you can see, kind of can, the detail of her skirt is imprinted on the inside. Like this is textured while this is smooth. So I'm not really sure what causes that, but that's Oh, of course it can go like that because, hang on, let me, there we go. So she doesn't attach to the base in any way, so this is going to be a no mollows allowed sort of situation. I still don't really know exactly what I'm doing with unboxing videos, but I figured she was too perfect not to share. She's gorgeous. I wanted to share her with you. I'm a happy camper. The sculpt is, is absolutely perfect. Her hair is also absolutely perfect. I just poked the sword a little bit and it moved. Freaked me out. Um, so, yeah. That is Her Royal Highness me in statue form. If you like statues, then I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If not, then I hope you like Zelda. And if you don't like Zelda, who are you? I really don't know what exactly to do except for to give you a little like 360 of her really quick. Um, I really love how they did the wrinkle detail on the back of her I'm just brain farting on that word today. But she just looks perfect. And it runes all the way around, and this is the, uh, apron part of the armor is attached, so that's a good thing for sure. Which is strange that this part is not attached, like it's actual fabric, but that part is. And then there's the bottom of her skirt. You can see really lightly the details, and then again the imprint and her completely accurate boots. The sliding isn't going to work with me right now. She has white underwear on. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, yeah, so there's a little update video since a blog post doesn't exactly do an unboxing justice. Uh, I hope you have an awesome rest of the night. Have a great rest of the week and okay, I love you. Bye!